Hello, 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 and welcome to Courageously Kind. I'm Maddie. And I'm Liz. We're twin sisters and best friends. Together, we share stories of especially kind humans doing especially kind things in hopes that these conversations motivate and inspire you to be kinder to yourself and others. When we're not speaking with an incredible guest, we'll speak directly from our hearts about what it means to us to be courageously kind. This week, we have the honor of being joined by Kirsten, who is a staff member at Brave Trails, which is an awesome organization. I found them via Instagram, I think. And just, first of all, from the name, you have me hooked. Brave Trails, (laughs) so up our alley with Courageously Kind and all that. (laughs) But then I found out what their mission is and just absolutely loved it so much. Brave Trails is one of the first summer camps specifically for LGBTQ youth, which is so, so important and so important for kids to have a space where they can really be themselves. Absolutely. And, you know, we, we've seen kind of a common theme too this season. We have a lot of common themes, but one of them is camp. Mm-hmm. Kind of the nature of coming together and building community mm-hmm. in a safe, loving, judgment-free environment. Totally. Totally. We have and we we talked about it a little bit in this episode but we have had the honor of chatting with Kim Teams Fox who is the director over at Faces and they have a a camp for kids with facial differences mm-hmm. and we've spoken to people that have gone as counselors and as campers and like Liz said there's something about a camp atmosphere that is so special and that community that is built there is so special and gives people a sense of belonging and togetherness and you know, when we we heard about break, Camp Brave Trails, we were so, so on board and so, uh, so inspired by their mission um, to create a space where LGBTQ youth can feel like they belong and celebrate themselves and celebrate their identities and create community and make friends and all that good stuff. Kirsten will tell you all about it and about her experience and her child's experience at brave trails and yeah i want to go <laughs> we have to, a lot of summer camps we could hit we do, next year yeah, we absolutely. could do a summer camp tour a circuit <laughs> there we go <laughs> it's so awesome do you want to start by introducing yourself where are you from what do you like to do for fun all that good stuff Yes. My name is Kirsten Short. I live in Long Beach, California. I'm talking to you because one of the many things that I do is work for an organization called Brave Trails Camp, Brave Trails. I am a mom and a wife and a friend and an ally. And one of the great joys of my life is that I get to do uh, administrative assistant work and help with enrollment at this amazing organization called Camp Brave Trails. We are a a summer, well, we're more than a summer camp program, but we started as a summer camp for LGBTQ youth ages 12 to 17. I love it so much. Yeah. yeah. How did you first get connected and like involved with Brave Trails? How did you first find out about them? That is a wonderful, wonderful question. Um, Brave Trails is nine years old, has been around for nine years. That's awesome. I came to the organization seven years ago, my, through my kid, Uh, my kid Googled gay camp. Love it. <laughs> came to came to um, their dad and I and asked if they could go to camp and we took a look at it and said sure so I came to Brave Trails as a camper parent my oh, kid awesome. was a camper for five consecutive summers including a summer that was virtual because mm-hmm. of COVID yeah and once once my child aged out of the camp camper age, um, the directors came to me and asked if I would be interested in doing some work for them. So I got to come to work remotely and I, I do a lot of the enrolling. I talk to other parents, I answer questions, that sort of thing. Um, and that kid who was a camper, uh, actually this summer is now an adult and they got to be a, uh, camp counselor, a cabin oh. counselor this summer. And, um, 
loved it for two sessions. That's awesome. That's, That's so amazing. much fun. Yeah. How does camp work? Is it like, do they do different sessions throughout the year? Is it week long sessions? How that, it, that is how a does great, camp work? great, great question. So we have five sessions of camp this summer, four in Southern California and one in Maryland. And um, each of our camp sessions are 10 days long. They are um, curated to be one 10 day long experience. Um, we have different themes and we have different staff members who work at different sessions, but they are all very much um, the same idea, the same concept that we create a safe space where these kids can have a camp experience plus a little bit more. Um, I would say that we are half of a traditional camp experience and and half a leadership academy so mm -hmm. while kids are doing things like archery and arts and crafts we're also talking about social justice topics or um you know, a number of other things that that the kids want to talk about that the kids yeah. want to learn about and uh, we create a place where these youth can find their people and their place and their passion. I love that. Amazing. I love it so much. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I love that you have like an East Coast and a West Coast option too. Yeah. That's, awesome. that's very cool. Feels like it's super accessible for, totally. for anybody. But we anybody. would certainly like to make it even more accessible. Like the 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 vision, we are currently in the process of building and preparing our forever home. We have bought awesome. some property and, um, and that will be in Southern California, but the, the, the hope is certainly that we will expand to other parts of the country because there are certainly, we know LGBTQ youth all over the country who could use programs like this. Absolutely. 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 I love the the leadership aspect of it too. Mm -hmm. I love that that is ingrained yeah. in camp and, and just kind of like giving these kids the resources that they need to succeed and to, to be yeah. leaders in their mm -hmm. community. I think that's so awesome. You guys offer a bunch of other programs in addition to summer camp. You have family camp and backpacking trips and you have mental health programs too. Could you talk us through a little bit more of what Brave Trails offers in addition to your summer camp program? Yes, yes, yes. Summer camp was how we started. That was the brainchild of our directors, uh, Jess and Kayla. And after we had a couple of years of success with that, they decided that to expand into other ways. And one of the great things that we do is family camps. So twice a year, uh, two different times this last year, we had a family camp weekend, one that is for LGBTQ youth and their families, and one that is for LGBTQ parents and their children. Awesome. And it's beautiful. It's a great way for families to meet other families like them, for kids to see that their families look like other people's families, for, yeah. for these queer parents to meet other parents with kids their same ages. You know, it was born in part because our executive directors have a son who just turned five. And, and when he was um, a, a t infant and a toddler, it was born in part out of wanting to make their own community of other yeah. families that look like them. So it's wonderful. So we do family camp. We have a mental health program. We have some individual therapy and group therapy available to youth who qualify um, we do what else? Oh, we have a backpacking program that started. This is our That's second fun. summer of that program. And it is incredible. Um, we've had some really generous donations and grants that have allowed us to have this very small group of campers who are, who are obviously interested in tent camping and backpacking. Yes. Um, it, the summer camp sessions have anywhere from 75 to 100 kids in a session. And our backpacking sessions have nine campers, oh, nine campers yeah. and four wow. instructors. Oh and gosh. they actually hike. They carry all their own stuff. They tent Yay. camp. They are out on the trail for, depending on the trip that you choose, like four yeah. to six nights. Wow. Um, and it's incredible. And, and as with our camp program and the backpacking program, all of the staff identify as LGBTQ 
um, in some way, shape or form. So we yeah. are really proud that we provide a space for these kids where all of the adults that they meet yes. are part of their community. I love that. That's amazing. I didn't think about that, but how incredible to have kind of that representation. Yeah. Of of yeah. Of, of just people that there are campers yeah. this summer who have said to our staff that they are the first yeah. adult trans person that they've met. Or, yeah. you know, that they they don't have they don't see adults living beautiful, full adult lives yes. in their in their everyday lives. So yeah. we are really proud to be able to have an incredible staff of of amazing adults who many of whom wish that they could have gone to a camp like Brave Trails. So Absolutely. while we encourage our campers to make the real world like camp, mm -hmm. we also encourage our staff members to help give those kids the experiences that maybe they didn't get to have. Yeah. That's so beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. We have had sort of a little bit of a similar experience with Liz. Liz has a facial difference. Mm -hmm. And there's a camp in Tennessee for people with facial for kids with facial differences. And all the counselors are people with facial differences. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we have been able to to work with that organization that runs that. And yeah, just that representation. It, it means you could probably speak more to it than I could, but I know it just means so much. So much, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just to, to find community that you could feel a part of and that safe space, it's really incredible. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Something we were talking about earlier is, and I wonder why this is, but something about that camp atmosphere <laughs> and being outside and being outdoors, what do you think like a camp atmosphere does that maybe like a class or a course or something, or even, I don't know, something about being outside and being in nature and stuff. What do you think that, that provides kids with that experience? I think one of the things that, uh, one of the things that I value so much about the time at Brave Trails is that it's electronics free. Wow. Um, so we ask that our campers, our campers check in their phones or yeah. don't bring their phones to camp. Um, so for us at Brave Trails, it's all, it's about that community, mm -hmm. but it's also about a, an unplugging a a setting down of mm -hmm. the 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 things that we use all of us every day yeah. in our lives but yeah. but to have you know a diet from social media a diet yeah. from um gaming all of yeah. those things um really to be present and feel our feelings and be outside with nature there is and and that communal cabin living having a cabin group that becomes mm -hmm. sort of your people um there's just something magical about it I was a kid who went to camp I was thrilled to have my kids go to camp um yeah. there are lots of our campers who come who this is their very first experience at camp or who have had one experience at sleepaway camp that wasn't necessarily great because it was gendered or they felt bullied or othered yeah. Um, we, we really create a space where there, there just really isn't a lot of room for that. Yeah. There, I love that. that, that everyone is, um, everyone is there and, and valued and, um, yeah, it's nice. I love that. I love the camaraderie of camp that we create a beautiful community. Even as I watch it from the sidelines, each session is a little bit different and, comes together in a different way and creates a little family dynamic different yeah. than the session before it yeah oh I love that amazing I love it so, so cool. much yeah so so <laughs> much you mentioned something about having kids bring camp out into the world and I love I feel like I I don't know if that really resonated yeah. with me of just like yeah. that feeling of camaraderie and community and and living with each other and being with each other and I think that's so beautiful and and yeah, I feel like camp could We do it. we we do try to build that community and make those friendships. We do try to um you know, we have workshops and programs about healthy relationships, about healthy sexuality, about how to take your passion and turn it into some kind of action. Um we often say throughout the time at camp take it home and make it like camp, make the rest of the world a little like camp. Yeah. Um, sometimes that comes when we're 
making, you know, drying eyes and patting shoulders because people yeah. are sad that they're not going to be with their camp friends. Yeah. Um, and we have seen beautiful friendships flourish outside of camp too. So yeah, that's the goal is to make the rest of the world a little kinder. Yeah, I love it. I love that so much. <laughs> you said you've been with Brave Trails for seven years. I have worked for Brave Trails for two years, but I have been involved with Brave Trails for those seven years as a parent and then as a as a staff member. That's awesome. Is there a memory or a moment or a year that stands out to you that impacted you or, or left you feeling moved in some way? Each year has been really special, but I think I have to say, um, so my child, who is now a counselor at Brave Trails, was a senior in high school in 2020. Oh, and we were um, juniors, so we feel that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the the disappointment about no prom, the disappointment yeah. about no graduation, et cetera, um, nothing hit as hard as the disappointment that Brave Trails was not going to happen. Like that, the, the announcement from our directors that they made the very hard and I think absolutely right decision not yeah. to host camp in person. Yeah. Um, and so what they did was they pivoted and they turned it into a virtual camp that was different, very different, but a little bit longer, kept kids connected via Zoom um, yeah. in different ways. And I have to say as, as clunky and disappointing in some aspects that time was that virtual session of brave trails was everything yeah really in our household for my kid for the other kids who got to do it it was a lifeline yeah. um during a time that everybody was really really just trying to hold on to something yeah yeah and, and probably longing for that community mm -hmm. and we were all in our houses and we were quarantining yeah and yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I can only imagine that that must have felt like yeah. a breath of fresh air and refreshing to get to be with your people and yeah for sure and we are thankful that it was just one year that we had to do yes. that we had to Good. you know ch make some changes and have fewer people together for shorter periods of time the next year we we didn't invite community members to come in and give workshops for a, a period of time but yep. now it feels like we are this summer feels a little more back to normal ish feelings yeah. and we're able to include some of our community members and have more kids together and that feels good too. Good. So I, I think bet. yeah just going through that um as a as an organization um yeah. made us stronger. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah that's awesome. So many beautiful things have come out of this pandemic and so many like moments of resilience and yeah. have really shown through which is really beautiful such a, a scary time mm -hmm. and a lot of beauty and a lot of strength came out of it absolutely absolutely what sort of activities can campers participate you mentioned that there's like fun activities like archery and that sort of arts and crafts and stuff what sort of things can kids get involved in when they're at camp there are so many fun things to do. So the day, the camp day kind of starts with, we have a flag raising every day where we raise a different mm -hmm. flag. So um, the lesbian flag one day, the transgender flag one day, the um, all non-binary flag. Uh, yeah. And we have a little flag raising ceremony and we all, we eat every meal together as a camp. Mm -hmm. Um and the food is actually quite good. <laughs> um, you're camp food and you're like, oh, we're in the woods. Like, but good. Right. That's you good. know, I often say that Brave Trails campers get some glamping in their <laughs> camping. Um, good. The backpackers, the backpackers are kind of rough in it, but our, our camp campers, um, they, they get, they get a pretty good <laughs> deal. <laughs> so after breakfast we have they have some time with their add-on group so each camper chooses a subject at the beginning of their session that they then add on to so if it's theater or music or whatever that is it um phot photography has been very popular this summer so as the 10 days progress they learn a little bit more and it leads up to some kind of a showcase a presentation a performance 
et cetera, at the end of that time. And then we also have every day that campers have options to do, to sign up for workshops. And we offer several different workshops every day. So if one day they want to take a workshop on healthy sexuality, the next day they can take a workshop on um, getting involved in starting a GSA at your school or that sort of thing. And we have different different community members, different counselors who prepare those workshops. Um, And in the afternoons, there's a period of time that is free choice. And when you have a free choice, there's art making. We had an amazing um, staff member this year who is a puppet, a puppeteer and makes amazing puppets. And they led some um, wonderful workshops on puppet making Mm -hmm. there are um, (laughs) sessions if people bring their um instruments and want to make this together you can there's a swimming pool there's archery there's ropes courses depending on what is set up that day there are very traditional camp experiences to be had as well and then every evening we have some kind of a program if it's someone who comes in and speaks to us or the staff does a talent show or skits we have a variety show with the campers we have a couple of dances um every every session has a theme so that's usually in with the theme of that sometimes Mm -hmm. there's a scavenger hunt there are often s'mores to be had had (laughs) the carnivals 20th century camp (laughs) yeah snack you can't have camp without (laughs) s'mores and a campfire which that doesn't (laughs) that doesn't track you have to have s'mores I love that I love that so much I love that there's such a variety of activities for kids to get involved in and it it sounds like they can really find something that speaks to them and their individuality I absolutely love that we went to camp for a few days in middle school and it was not totally like that it was a lot of like outdoor activities which is great but we're not super athletic people so I would have loved to go to theater camp and do that do the arts and crafts (laughs) yeah maybe not so much the seven mile hike but the right, yeah. puppet show sounds <laughs> my speed for sure I love that totally. I love that so much you have touched on it a lot throughout this interview but why is a space like this so important for LGBTQ youth for their families and for this this beautiful community why is a space like this so significant and so important especially for young kids you know mm-hmm. It is, uh, I cannot speak more highly of the the value of the experience that my family personally has had at Brave Trails and that I have seen um, play out for other people and other families. I think especially today, it is so important for, um, for young queer people to know that there is a space for them, that they are okay that they are fabulous that they are loved and valued um for me as a parent it was very impactful to see my child um go away and come back and have tools that I hadn't Mm -hmm. given them and um ways to strategize and ways to be friends with people that um that we hadn't that we hadn't talked about in our household. I'm grateful for um, the tools that Brave Trails has given them. I am honored to be able to help other kids have that experience. Part of my job is reviewing application videos and seeing these kids answer the questions that we ask of them about not just about have you been to sleepaway camp, but um, about five words that describe you and what are you interested in and why do you, what are your best leadership qualities, you know, Mm -hmm. to, to have a, a young person be able to articulate what their leadership qualities are. These kids are amazing. And to, to be able to help them find their, find their people. My, my adult child is living in another state and has strong friendships with people they met at camp like in their dorm at college there were four people that they knew from brave trails wow oh that's awesome it it creates a a network that extends beyond camp 
And I'm so grateful to be a part of that because I think that there are a lot of messaging today to our young LGBT people that they don't, that that is negative. And Mm -hmm. uh, I want to amplify the message that um, there is a place for them. And I believe that these kids are going to be the leaders who make the changes that need to be made. Yeah. Uh, that's so awesome so amazing one final question for you that we have been asking every guest this season Mm -hmm. is what does kindness mean to you Mm. what does kindness mean to me um kindness means that everyone has a place at my table Mm -hmm. kindness means that um that everyone is included and everyone is represented and I don't get to place value judgments um, on the ways that, that they show up. I just, I show up in, in kindness. And I think if we, if the rest of the world did that, it would be a much, much better place. Absolutely. We totally oh, believe that too. Such a beautiful answer. I love <laughs> I love this question because everyone answers it differently, but there is so much love at, at the heart of every single answer. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Kirsten, thank you so much for being with us today. This was awesome. Is there anything else you want people to know about Brave Trails? Where can they find you guys? We'll link everything in the description too, but anything excellent. else? Excellent. On our, our website is, is an excellent resource. There are lots of um, frequently asked questions the that are answered on our website about all of our different programs. There's also contact information. You can reach out to info at bravetrails.org. There is a phone number. I am often the person who answers that <laughs> that phone. So if Perfect. you want to talk to me, you can call me. Um, we're happy to answer any questions about our programs. There's also information about how to donate to our um, forever home or yes. become a part of our organization in some way. Um, the more, the merrier. We um, we would love to grow this to be something that we can offer camp to kids across the country. So, oh, that's yeah. awesome. So awesome. We love what you guys do. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here yeah. with us. Thank you. Thank this was you. awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for this beautiful podcast. You're making the world a little bit kinder yourselves. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. Right back thank at you, you guys. Yeah, you guys are definitely. totally, totally mm-hmm. making a difference and totally making such an impact Absolutely. in these young people's lives. So yeah, it's incredible. awesome. To check out Brave Trails and to maybe attend camp next summer, check out the links in the description to their website. You can also get some more information about them from there. We'll also tag their Instagram. Whoever runs their Instagram is doing a phenomenal job. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> the content is funny <laughs> and informative and, and it's just really beautiful again to see kids get to find a space where they feel like they belong and they are seen and valued and that their identity is celebrated so important so so important (laughs) and so so intertwined with our mission at courageously kind too i think it takes a lot of courage to be brave and to be kind to yourself Mm -hmm. and to be who you really are and Mm -hmm. accept yourself and love yourself and all that good stuff it takes a lot of courage so brave trails is totally (laughs) totally in line with what we're doing at courageously kind too so Again, all the links you would need are in the description. Take good care, and we'll see you back here. Well, see you. Bye. <laughs> We'd like to give a huge thank you to Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting for their support of Courageously Kind. Anna Waltz is a family-owned landscape contracting company in Berks County that has served Pennsylvania for over 35 years. If you're ready to get your landscaping project started, visit AnnaWaltzLandscape.com or call 610 610- Nine one six seven zero seven zero. Anna Waltz Landscape Contracting, beautifying Pennsylvania one yard at a time. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this episode, feel free to share it with your friends, your family, or anyone you think might like it too. And if you want to support the show, leave us a review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It really does help. Or check out our merch store at courageouslykind.org. Take good care, and we'll see you back here real soon.